You'll be amazed and potentially disturbed at some alternative ways people are making electricity. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Remember, tomorrow we have another episode of Song Biscuits. Ooh. That's when we collaborate with another creator and you to write an original song all in one sitting. Uh, this week's special guest is the king of music video parodies, Bart Baker. I'm posting an ad. We're replying to an ad on Craigslist. It looks like a real red couch. Look at this real red couch on Craigslist. Yeah, so make sure you watch Song Biscuits every Saturday. Uh, tomorrow's a special one. Tomorrow is special for another reason because it is Earth Hour if you're watching this today. Tomorrow is March 28th from 8.30 to 9 p.m. Join people all across the globe in a show of solidarity for the Earth to turn off all non-essential lighting for that hour. It's a pretty cool concept mm -hmm. from 8.30 to 9.30, whatever time it is, on Saturday, March 28th. Turn off your lights yes, we for the Earth. Encourage you to participate. And believe it or not, even though this is mostly a symbolic thing, a lot of electricity will be saved. However, pretty cool. turning off your electricity is not a real sustainable way no. uh, to save energy. We're gonna have to come up with alternative ways to create electricity. And you know what? We did a little boop, 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 research, boop, boop. and there are some people out there who are coming up with some weird ways to generate electricity, and uh, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I got one right off the bat. Now this one is pretty awesome. Harnessing the power of dance to create electricity. And I'm not talking about the electric slide, which has mobilized many middle American women to dance at weddings. I'm talking oh, about an yeah. actual dance floor. That's my favorite that part went, of every wedding reception. It is, because you can get out there oh, with yeah. your grandma. I'm so good at the electric slide. You can connect, you're, you're, you're just really good at it. Um, <laughs> A company called Energy Floors has created a sustainable dance floor. Basically, the more you dance, the more energy is built up, and then at a certain point, enough energy is built up to create a floor light show. So that's pretty cool. I mean, so you're not really creating power for you, anything but the floor. Yeah, but you're that's not still pretty you're, cool. It's self-sustaining. You're not using power. How does it work? You ask. Repeated steps and presses push gear systems that spin magnets inside wire coils that generate electricity, turning motion and movement into electricity. So back that thing up and drop it like it's hot and create some electricity. I, I, all of that's a quote. If even you, the end part from scientists. What they'll, they'll really be onto something if when you dance hard enough, it raises the roof. It, ooh, I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't have that joke so they can comment on your joke in the comments. Uh, but think about that. You'd literally raise the roof. I think it's a good idea. How about diving into That's some cool. pools and producing some jewels? Uh, in 2013 at Wake Forest University, Winston Salem, North Carolina, a student named Eagle. I just did an owl sound by accident. I was like, gotta well, make some The sort mascot of a sound. is the demon deacon, so you need to make a demon sound. That's. Oh, that's your demon sound? They call you owls. Need to work on that. They call owls in that way. A guy named Eagle Jen, the coolest name ever, by the way. I think it's a nickname, but Eagle uh, came up with a way to use swimming to create power. He, he cr basically created a turbine that sits, sits at the surface of the water, and the rising and the falling of the water creates power. This is how much swimming you have to do. Let me just put things into perspective. Okay. 10 people swimming in the pool for one hour each day for 10 hours. So that's like tag team swimming. Like you swim for an hour, and then we all go through until there's 10 people swimming for an hour each. All doing the butterfly stroke, which would be difficult to keep up for an hour, but you guess how much electricity that produces? They're like, very demanding, I don't know. I'm... Enough to power one light bulb for the whole day. <laughs> Hey, but listen, it's a start. I mean, it's real. okay. What if they did like the rock like, the pool thing? You know, when we would all like jump in the I pool that. and like Charles the waves. Charles Sheffield was, we could really rock, rock the, the pool. pool. Yeah, buddy roll. You probably listen. get three light bulbs going with Charles Sheffield jumping in the Char pool. Sheffield. <laughs> and if you put those turbines around the whole exterior of the pool, if it wasn't just one, you could probably, you know, like light the pool. Everybody likes a, likes a, the pool to have a light in it. Now make a wave of the future joke to go with your raise the roof joke. Yeah, this is really the wave of the future. All right, I got another one. Uh, this is a little. The roof. This is a little bit weird. Um, power from jellyfish. Now, there's a specific. That's not weird at all. Um, North American jellyfish species, Equoria victoria, and I've actually seen this when I went to Long Beach Aquarium. Um, I, think I used to date her. They. F <laughs> uh, they flash blue and green light. That's mesmerizing. I just sat there and looked at them forever. I was like, wow. You sat there and looked at jellyfish forever. forever. That's yeah, what you were my doing wife. My wife took a picture and made it her wallpaper on her phone for like a week. 
Oh, when you went to the aquarium. I missed that part. I was yeah, thinking you, about Victoria. <laughs> um, Swedish researchers have found a way to harness uh, this phenomenon by turning the jellyfish into liquid and extracting the green fluorescent protein, GFP, from their bodies. How do you turn a jellyfish into liquid? They basically throw them into a blender and make a jellyfish smoothie. Mm. I'm not condoning it, but it happens. Jellyfish and don't it, care. It creates. They, they don't, don't care, guys. Trust me, they do not care. Oh, you should hear the sound they make. I've never blended. heard a jellyfish tell me that they had any concerns about anything. No, they scream when, when they're being blended. Oh, come on. No, I'm joking. Uh, take a drop of that GFP, put it on a, aluminum electrodes, and then expose it to UV light to create nanoscale electric current. Um, so that's not much at all, but it's still small enough to power nanomachines that can image tumors, monitor blood sugar levels, power pacemakers, or diagnose illnesses from the inside. So maybe that's worth blending up some of your uh, your glowy jellyfish friends. Victoria's been up to quite a lot since we uh, since we dated. Bring it. Uh, how about heating homes using the subway? You may know that the subway in London is called the Tube. Yeah. And uh, in a residential area called Islington, I guess that's how you say that. I'm not real sure. I'm sure I will be corrected in the comments. Uh, they use the heat generated by the Tube okay. to heat over 700 homes. Well, okay. What kind of heat are you talking about? Well, these things generate heat when they break, but they also generate heat because there's people in them. If you've ever taken public pr transportation, you know that not only is there body heat, there can be body odor in there. Well, they take all the the heat that's in the tube and send it out through tubes into homes. And they're about to, to uh, do Like an they literally addition. pipe body heat into homes? Well, I hope it's radiation. Well, no, there's like, uh, there's pipes, there's tubes coming from the tube. What do you mean radiation? That, you don't want radiation in your house. No, I want everyone in London to be killed with radiation. You just said hopefully it's radiation? No, yeah, like like radiated heat. Well, it's like just a radiator. Heat. It's like I got heat building up in my underarm area because I'm on the public transportation. They somehow get my underarm heat and they get it into their homes. Via, where it smells via, great. Via heat radiation. Yeah. Which is what I was trying like to say. Like a microwave. So it, it has nothing to do with radiation. It probably doesn't stink. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the animal world here. Electric eels. Now this one seems to have been waiting to happen. As you probably know, uh, electric eels have electric organs that store power like tiny batteries. They can discharge bursts of 600 volts at 600 watts for about two seconds at a time. They can keep doing it for an hour straight and of course it doesn't hurt them. In 2010, an aquarium in Tokyo. What? Powered uh, lights on Christmas trees using electric energy. Oh, electric! Uh, they I didn't. Like that. They didn't even have to blend up the eels, which makes this a much better story. Yeah. They captured them via electric probes placed in a tank. Researchers believe they can put a bunch of them in a tank and use a DC inverter. You can have electricity to charge people's electric cars. Do you have to have an eel factory or eel farm in your house or is this just gonna be like what the power plants are in the future? You have to be a researcher. Oh, well I am. Give me another one. By How the way, this? eels are not uh, eels, they are knife fish. Uh, in tw wow, in 2013, a crematorium uh, in Durham in the UK, they're doing a lot of interesting things over there in the UK. With crematorium? Uh, this is where they burn bed bodies up, basically, you know, where they cremate people. They said, we're producing a lot of heat. We could take this heat and convert it into energy, and so they put two turbines in uh, a couple of their burners, and now they generate enough electricity to power 1,500 Televisions. I don't know why they always put it in a figure like burning that. people to watch television. Yeah, yeah, you're, that doesn't sound right. Grandma is really giving up her ghost so I can watch Walking Dead all weekend. <laughs> are right. you guys gonna participate in Earth Hour? Earth yes, Hour? you are. Uh, we encourage you to do that tomorrow. Remember, uh, what time is that going to be? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Whenever it is, eight thirty in your zone. Yes. Thanks for liking and commenting on this video. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm Kevin. Hi, I'm Kristen, and we're from Dallas, Texas, and we're at Six Flags, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Make sure you listen to our latest episode of Ear Biscuits, our podcast. We had a great interview with Bart Baker, and then remember, the song biscuit will be on this channel tomorrow. tomorrow. Click through to Good Myth Good More. We do a dry run of Earth Hour. Turn off the lights and having some hand crank devices. Human power, baby. Rhett is bread, and Link is a French chef. Ha ha ha! See, see, see this? Oh, such a big piece of loaf here. Look at it. It's crispy on the outside, and it's 
It's gooey on the inside. Oh, oh, bang. It's la bang. Pan. Bang. Pan. 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 Right. right. Whoa! Look at that. If I keep this That's going. You can tell a ghost story like that, Link. But it ain't that time of year. It's Earth Hour. It ain't spooky hour. Oh, okay. <laughs>